Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a beatbox instrument, your very own. Alright, so let's start with Logic with an empty project and an audio track. I'm going to start off by recording a kick drum, snare, hi-hat, and uh, two tom sounds. Um, and so I'm going to record a few per sound just to make sure we have some good ones. All right. Oh yeah, and let's name it Beatbox Instruments. Okay. Oh yes, and I forgot. Turn off the metronome by right-clicking this, right-clicking that, and then right-clicking that. Recording settings, click record pre-roll and set it to zero seconds. This way it'll instantly record. All right. Let's record. I'll just record all those. I think that was a good kick. Let's go to snare. All right, so we have all our types of things. Let's start with a kick drum. I think I liked this one, so let's isolate it. And by the way, I'm zooming by holding Control and Option. And you might have two things here. I have three, you can set that in options. The third one is just for right click, so I can right click and cut just a little quicker. All right, here's our kick drum. Let's listen to it. I like it. Go out here. I like that snare. Zoom out a little bit. All right, let's cut it here and here. All right, sounds good. Hi hat now. All right. I think that one's good. Oops, let's delete the marker I just made. All right, go in here, and I think this is the one. Let's see. If you can't see the audio very well, just click this, and then you can actually, oops, you can drag it up. All right, I like that, and now the toms. <laughs> kind of strange toms, but they'll work. All right, now let's just move it all together. Now, all right. the first track is, let's zoom in on this one, the first file is the kick drum. So what I want you to do is convert, you right click it, or in my case, control click, convert to new audio files. Now let's name this uh, kick drum, and then you'll see why this will make it easier in the future. Now let's name this one uh, snare. Name this one I hat. The way I'm zooming out, by the way, is just hold control option and click and it'll go back to the previous zoom level. This one is Tom one. And this one is Tom two. And let's just see, make sure we know which one's higher and lower. All right, so Tom 1 is higher. Let's just need to know that for later. All right, now that we have our audio files, let's move this track. We don't need that track anymore. Now, the fun part happens. Create a new track, software instrument, and let's go to Ultra Beat. Ultra Beat is an incredibly complex drum synth, but all we need to do is use this section, which is where you um, put the sounds in, and this section right here. Okay, so let's turn on, let's start with the kick drum. Turn off everything. Make sure all three of these are off. Well, all two, both of these are off. And we're going to turn this one on and turn this off, which uh, this arrow makes it go into the filter. And we don't want it to be filtered at all. We want pure sound. So go to sample, go in here, load our kick drum. And we actually have to go to the beatbox instrument. Load our kick drum. All right. And the cool thing is, once you load it, you can play it here. By clicking, or you can actually play it on the keyboard. 
Sounds good to me. Let's go to our snare, do the same thing, turn these off, hit that, load snare. All right, snare's way too quiet. Let's turn it up here. Now it's a little too loud. And closed hat. Let's see how that sounds when we add it in. It's probably going to be really quiet. Let's see. Yes, it's very quiet. So let's turn it all the way up here and all the way up here. Still a little too quiet. So let's turn these two down so it's relatively better. All right, and then let's go to the mid tom. And that will be tom two. And then the high tom. And that will be tom one. Oops. The reason we don't hear anything is because the volume's down. So let's turn up mid tom. Turn up high tom, see what they sound like. See what they sound like compared to the others. Need to turn those up a little bit, especially the high. Oops. All right. Now, the great thing is we can play around with it now. We have a cool little uh, beatbox machine now. So once we get that, we can click here and go to full view. And let's just uh, let's start with a new thing. These are all SQ means it has a sequence already. So let's start with a new one. All right. We have our own new little sequence here. I'm just going to quickly make something. All right, there's our kick, uh, and this is each one of these is a um, is a beat. Dun 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 dun. Each major line is a measure. All right, snare, hi hat. Let's just do a lot of those. Oops. See what this sounds like. Now, when you write out your pattern, and you can play this, play around with it a lot. You click here, uh, turn the sequencer on, then just push play. All right, our kick drum's a little loud. Let's turn it down. Turn up every time. All right, I like my pattern. Once, once you like your pattern, stop it. And now drag th this little button, it's the pattern button. You just click it. I don't know why that didn't work. There we go. And drag it onto the uh, track. And one important thing with UltraBeat is turn off the sequencer. Because if you don't, it will keep playing at the same time and have a duplicate thing and it'll be annoying. All right. So let's uh, zoom out and loop our track and we can listen to it push enter and spacebar works pretty well be sure to check out the next part of the tutorial because we're going to add to this a an acapella instrument that you can actually play your voice as an instrument on the keyboard